Marketing is about promoting a product or service, and for a housing co-op, that service is rental housing. No matter the location or the market, unit turnover happens and someone needs to fill the vacancy. We interviewed a management company and two cooperatives to ask them about their marketing practices. Because marketing is not a one-time fix, it is an ongoing strategy that helps your co-op to flourish. My name is Kim Wyman. I am the CEO of the Community Housing Management Network. We've been in business since May of 2009, and we provide management services to co-ops and nonprofits in both Ontario and Nova Scotia. Over the years, I would say that there have been housing cooperatives whose approval process was extremely long. For those that it's working for, your units are full and you have a waiting list, fantastic. But if it's not working anymore, just really important that you take a look at what you could change to make it work now. And it doesn't mean that you can't ever go back to that process. You can't afford the vacancy loss and you need to fill those units. We're now competing with the private rental market. And so if you know a landlord can turn around an application in you know 12 hours, we need to do it in 11. We have it streamlined as much as possible and we do endeavor to turn over applications as quickly as possible. My name is Gráinne Lowe and I'm the on-site property manager for Millican Cooperative Homes. Millican Co-op is situated in Toronto, Ontario. I've worked for Millican for the past six years and three years as property manager. We actually took a look at the application form itself. So the old application form was quite cumbersome. So we revamped the application form, making it easy for people to fill out. So when we receive an application form, we go through the application process. We have the members interviewed, we check out references, etc. So we know that they are ready to go when a unit comes available. By having a waiting list of applicants that are already approved, it really increases the possibility of turning the units over quicker. So we have a list of contractors that we've tried and tested and we're very happy with them and we know they're trustworthy. So as soon as we have a member move out, we bring them in within a day or two of that member moving out to do the renovations. And this helps us to get new members in as soon as possible. We do like to keep in touch with them and let them know that the, we are waiting for approval and that we will be in touch as soon as possible. My name is Farine Hirji. I have lived here at Hugh Garner Co-op, which is located in Toronto for about uh, 22 years. We were established in 1982. We're 37 years old. I'm also part of the membership committee and I've been a part of the committee for about six years now. Um, so it's been uh, tweaks and, and um, changes that we've had to make to really learn what our best practice should be. And something we're doing that's very new to us, which is an info night. Uh, we've been hosting these info nights for the first time this year. It also includes tours of our green roof and our uh, common spaces as well. A lot of other buildings don't do that. The, you know, applicants don't really know what they're walking into. I find sometimes that's the highlight because they get to see firsthand. And that's where our wow factor comes in. Curb appeal is incredibly important, um, making sure that, you know, garbage is picked up around the co-op, that an applicant's first impression is, is a great impression. In the summertime, the grass is cut. Um, in the wintertime, walkways are shoveled. People are more inclined to apply. And if that ongoing maintenance continues, then, then people are going to stay. We made major improvements to the co-op, from small little things like changing the light fixtures and the house numbers, to paving the driveways, paving the roadways, um, replacing the patio doors, the windows, it has had a huge impact on the co-op. All of our retrofits, all of our improvement projects, everything that we've done to upkeep our co-op, it extends our branding and ensures that we are well maintained in our community and that we have that curb appeal. We're looking at installing a large LED sign at, at our building to not only showcase the street number, but also to showcase who we are. We are Hugh Garner Co-op, and we want to make sure we get our name out there and we're more visible. Since we installed those signs, we are getting more people walking in and inquiring about our community. They have made a big difference. In fact, we used to advertise through two companies and the board decided that we would try cancelling the advertisement and see what kind of response we'd get. And we're still getting responses today, and we actually haven't paid for advertising in I would say uh, two and a half years. When you Google Millican Co-op, the first thing that comes up is actually our website, which is very encouraging considering it's a free website. On the website, we have pictures of the townhouses, we have pictures of the playground, and we also have floor plans, and we also give information on local amenities. This really helps streamline our application process because after the fact, they may go home and have questions and they have materials readily available at their fingertips where we've already given them some of the answers that they might be asking us. 
Make sure that your application is there so they can fill the application in and send it right away. All really important that, uh, that people can see everything they need to see and get the application done quickly. I would say that advertising has changed a lot. The medium that we're looking at now, in lots of cases, it's, it's free. So you have your website where you can advertise uh, units that are available, your local federations, hosting at your local community center, at, at your local university or college. Kijiji's free. You can advertise in all those places um, and it doesn't cost you anything. One of the tools that we've used over the years is incentives. We've used in the past, the 13th month is free. Um, so make sure that when you're doing that, that it is in fact the 13th month and not their first month and not their member deposit. They're to be used sparingly. If your members are happy and they're satisfied with where they're living, they're gonna tell their friends. If you don't have to advertise at all because you have people coming to you, you're doing a good job. Whether your co-op is dealing with high vacancy rates or a long waiting list, applicants will appreciate a quick and streamlined application process. The bonus, current and new members alike benefit from regular maintenance and great curb appeal. For more information, visit our website at agency.coop and navigate to our Fill Your Units page where you will find helpful resources 